Hi, little bangos. Today I'm going to read you a story called Ed and Fred Flea. Once on a dog lived Fred Flea, and his brother Fred lived at one end, Ed at the other. As small fleas, they'd always found it a riddle. If they each owned one end, then who owned the middle? Ed was content with the bit that he had, but Fred wanted it all, for he was selfish and bad. Ed came one day with some terrible news. We'd better move on, I've been noticing clues. The dog scratching madly and I think it's a sign. Something is up when he started to whine. Bad Fred saw his chance. Stop that hullabaloo, I really can't go, for I'm sick with the flu. But, replied Ed, you're not coughing or shaking. You don't have a fever. Are you sure you're not faking? No, it's true, bad Fred lied, and there never can be a pill to cure a poor fluey flea. There are certainly mixtures of a camel with mumps that soon would get rid of his lumps and his bumps. There are certainly syrups to give to a snake when he's slithering around with a bad stomach ache. There are plenty of medicines for families of weasels, as spot by spot they come down with the measles. And we all know of tablets that come in a box that are swallowed by hens when they've got chicken pox. But there's nothing, just nothing, you know it is true, that can come to the aid of a flea with the flu. You really must come, pleaded Ed. You must try, but bad Fred, the phony, pretended to cry. Flea wanted to fly. Fly, begged Ed Flea. Go, sobbed bad Fred. Don't worry about me. Mayday, mayday, call a tick as it fleed. Abandoned dog, danger ahead. Then Ed Flea and the tick left the dog with a bound. Hooray, cried Bad Fred. I've got all of the hound. And I don't have the flu. I'm not really sick. They were all of them fools to believe in my trick. I'm fit as a fiddle, he sang louder and louder. And that's when they dusted the dog with flea powder. The end.